After 170 years, there are new airbenders in the world, and Boomy is one of them. So too is the mysterious Zahir, who escaped from his remote prison thanks to his new ability. I've seen Zahir for five seconds and I'm already ready to join his cause. I know Zahir's gonna be my kind of guy. We have so much in common. He's philosophical. He talks a lot. Recently, he spent a lot of time in a tiny room. He likes rice, I like rice, we're a perfect match. Chapter 2. Rebirth. Are we actually going to get a journey? That'd be so cool. I thought they were going to do that in Season 2, but it ended up just being Tenzin. And it was mostly at the, the temples. Oh, the Air Acolytes. Awesome. How sad would you be if you were an Air Acolyte that didn't get airbending? I figured if we're going to Ba Sing Se to search for airbenders, we should do it in style. Cool. I wonder if Ba Sing Se has changed at all. This also gives me the, the airship hopes that I had that were dashed in Season 2. Who's excited to spend some time with your Auntie Kai? Oh. Give it back to the put-upon mom. Once I received your message, I proceeded to contact various locations within the Earth Kingdom as ordered by you. Dude, chill out. He's so weird. The Avatar thanks you for your loyal service. Did you find any more leads? <laughs> I marked the villages on this map. This is cool. We're actually going to get a, like, world journey. It's probably better if I sit this one out. Get over it. I'm sorry. I, I can't. Is there something else? Is it just the romance? It's got to be more than that. Hey, how come Janora gets to go with you, but we don't? Because she saved the world. All right. Janora is top tier now, but you'll get there. Yeah, what this girl said. Not fair. I guess there's no school in the Avatar world, but there is school in the Fire Nation. Why aren't these kids in school? Homeschool. What do they learn? Because if airbenders show up here, they're going to need some guidance from you too. It's a very important job. Really? Me? A teacher? Those maggots will bow to me. Go easy on them, son. I can't just leave Republic City. I have a life here and a job. I mean, you have you a job. under your desk. Yeah. Bye. We'll miss you. I love the airship. Oh, good. Naga gets to come. I just love the idea of like traveling the world in an airship. Basically, the last six or seven years of my life have been devoted to trying to capture this feeling of like leaving home for new lands. And I've had the inspiration to do that from a very young age from shows like this, but more so from games. So it's so cool. Is this another villain in captivity? Finally, our shift changes here. I don't think that's your shift change. Something tells me. Where are the other guards? In the wind. Here. Oh, they know him by face? Wow. This guy's a legend. So cool. Oh, he's an earthbender. Someone mentioned in the comments, and I agree, that one really cool thing about so here is that we've always seen air being used by air nomad pacifists. So here we have this guy who clearly has no problem with violence. And I haven't seen that much of it, but just what I have seen of the action, it looks really cool. What did he just do? That was an interesting thing. I see, that's why he's on a wooden boat in the ocean. It's nice to see you again, Gazan. Gazan. Well, we got two of them now. I have harmonic convergence to thank for that. I was given a gift. I believe it's a sign that our path is a righteous one. Interesting. I can't wait to see what he wants. I don't know what it is yet, but I agree with him. It needs to happen. Whatever it is, that's that's right. The power of wind. Air. Air. If he ever says wind bending, our bond will be complete. Avatar Korra! Oh, it is such an honor to have you come to our humble village. Thanks. I hate to get down to business, but is the airbender here now? <laughs> He's so eager. You're so much more than just a farmer now. You represent the future of a culture that is being <laughs> reborn. Tenzin, chill. You're going to help us rebuild the Air Nation. Oof. Tenzin's just like laying it on real thick. Like, all my hopes and dreams are now your responsibility. I can't blame him, but it's funny. Just look at this guy's face. He's not, not his path, let's say. Well, I can't do that. I have a family and a farm. Of course you can come. This is of the utmost importance. Your wife will understand. Wait, what? No. <laughs> I do not understand. That's hilarious. I might be able to airbend, but I'm no air nomad. I'm no monk. That's interesting, because, yeah, it's not the same thing, right? There's airbending and there's air nomads, and the way we've gotten it is that they're connected, but it doesn't necessarily have to be the case, right? I mean, they are two different things, technically. No, sir, I'm not going anywhere with you, and I think it's best that you leave. That just escalated way too far. There was no need for any of that. Not to worry. There are plenty of other airbenders out there who will be happy to come with us once they find out what the Air Nation's all about. That makes sense. You don't want to recruit people who aren't interested anyway. They're just going to drag you down. I like the icon. When your son becomes a master, he'll get tattoos all over his body. <laughs> Yay! 
There's nothing more nutritious than our vegetarian diet. Look, you just gotta work on your sales skills at this point. You'll never have to worry about your worldly possessions again. Because you won't have any. <laughs> You'll get to shake your Oh hat. my god, you just can't close. You can't close the deal. Read a book, Tenzin. He's turning me off from airbending. No thanks. What would Aang do? Obviously, Aang is very committed to the, the culture. But part of Aang's journey was also accepting change. And that fits in with the idea that they've been building on, which is that you should see things as they are, not as you want them to be. Tenzin definitely has an attachment to the way he wants things to be, but it's been over a hundred years, right? It's never going to be exactly the same as it was. Your best friend will be a giant bison! That actually was cool. That's a good selling point. I really thought I had that last guy. Who doesn't want a bison as their best friend? True. When my son got airbending, my husband and I were so happy. We thought this could open up a lot of doors for him and maybe he could finally move out of the basement. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cora. One slipper. Whatever. I didn't ask to become an airbender, you know. What is wrong with these people? Who cares? Everyone cares! I don't care. Well, you're about to care, you little slacker, because you're coming with me! Mom, are you just gonna let her take me? <laughs> Mom's like, get out. <laughs> just try it for a week and see how it goes. <laughs> Mom's just ready. There's more. Are they gonna get all four elements? They all have such interesting styles. Oof. If this weren't Nickelodeon. Great to see you too, Mingwa. You busted me out before that girlfriend of yours. We're getting her next. One cool vibe I'm getting from them already, besides the awesome fighting, is that they're friends. If you'll recall from The Last Airbender, I love that. Because it's so humanizing instantly to have someone, you know, someone who's really cruel or capable of evil deeds to have friends. It gives like a whole new depth to their character. You need to add a little razzle dazzle. Yeah, listen to Boomy. An airbending show that will leave you breathless. With wind, it's the one, the only guy with an arrow pointing to his nose, Tenzin! It feels weird having Tenzin resorted to like circus tricks. We've heard that an escaped firebending convict has been spotted near here. I am the escaped convict <laughs> and you will all reap my fire. See, this is why Bolin's in the movers and not you. All right, that's an improvement. It's better than what, what they were doing before. I think that if they really want to get people excited, they have to make some sacrifices on the Air Nomad part. They're just asking a lot. That whole segment felt so silly. Especially compared to that awesome speech that Sahir gave in the first episode about the power of wind, like the rev- air, air. He had like a reverence for it. And here they are like doing like circus tricks. Hello! If you're looking for airbenders, you just found one. Cool. Just to be totally clear, we're going to be heading to Ba Sing Se, then the Northern Air Temple to live as nomads and rebuild the air nation. All that sound good to you? Aren't you a little young for this? Real quick, what's your name? Kai. Kai. Where are your parents? Right. We can't have you come with us without their permission. Good, I'm my glad he said that. My are... oh. gone. Oops. Sorry. My hometown was raided by outlaws. My parents saved me and the entire village. But they died in the fight. Just think of me as your big brother. I like that Bolin is so forthcoming with his brotherly affection. That's a touching story, but you gotta be a little bit careful, because, I don't know, I'm being paranoid, but was it just me or was that a little bit too touching? You gotta be careful being so taken in so easily. That sounds like exactly the kind of story that would tug at your heartstrings perfectly. I know, he's a little kid. Give him, give him a chance, right? Okay. It's the kid! I should have never given him a chance. The outlaws! They're after me! Let's get out of here! Are they outlaws? Are they? You'll have to go through me. Pretty good uniform for outlaws. I'm a sheriff, and these are my deputies. And this kid is a thief. Well, that all played out a lot faster than I thought it would. I was going to the bathroom. With your sack of gold? You don't go to the bathroom with your gold? What do you do with it then? Once I got airbending, I changed. I'm sorry, please, you have to listen to me. So I don't trust what he just said, but in a way he'd be a great air disciple. He would probably benefit greatly from learning a discipline. Being around these guys would like be the best thing for him. He just needs some guidance, Tenzin. And who better to give it to him than us? You can release the boy into our custody. Welcome to the family, little bro. <laughs> Mummy. You don't have me fooled. Whoa. Hey, lighten up. I'm turning over a new leaf. Making a change. This kid's good. Hi, I'm Denora. 
If you need any help with air vending, I could show oh, you. Oh, get a little crush. That's real nice of you. Uh oh. Yeah. They came out of nowhere. I'm so sorry, Lord Zuko. <gasps> How could you let what? this happen? This can't be. Put them all together, they could take down the entire world. He's still alive. I couldn't believe my eyes at first. I was like trying to process what I was seeing. I love that he's still the Fire Lord. It seems like he's gotten a little more stern over time, which I guess is to be expected. We don't need to track them. I know exactly where they're going. And send word to Lin Beifong in Republic City. The Avatar must be protected. Wow. To stop them. Nice. A hundred million years old and still taking care of business by himself. No, don't end. No! <laughs> Damn it. Ah, uh, I want more. Wow. So most of this episode was set up, right? Like, introducing some of the villains, introducing Kai, showing that Zuko is still flying around in his dragon, which is awesome. There's a lot of potential here, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what Zaheer and his crew have in mind and what connection it has to Korra. I'm getting that feeling. I'm getting that good feeling when I can see that there are a lot of elements in place that will come together. It's great. Good stuff. All right, that's the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you for episode three.